Hi, Chef Wu Can here. How are you today? Has everybody done all their Christmas shopping? Well, I want to recommend a soup to you, an Asian soup, Chinese soup, that will calm you through this crazy time of the year. It's called mustard green soup. You never heard of it. I bet you that even when you went to Chinese restaurants, you either ordered wonton soup, egg drop soup, chicken corn soup, uh, hot and sour soup. And that's basically, I think, the extent of the soups that you've tried. Well, those are basically all Chinese American soups. I want to recommend a very traditional soup that is very simple, easy, tasty, and has a clean feeling inside. It won't leave a, re a residual in your system. And um, it consists of mustard green. Here it is here. Here, here's what it looks like without the bag. Ginger. Fresh garlic. White pepper. Now I didn't have time to take a whole freaking chicken and boil it to get the broth. So basically I cut corners with a chicken powdered broth. By Lee Gum Gay. It's good to have. In an emergency, it won't turn bad. It's a powder. Just add water, and you have a basically chicken-based soup. Here is the uh, mustard greens that's been chopped up and washed already. These are the only ingredients you need. All right. So the tradition is for Chef Wu canned is to prepare the garlic. Now, I'm not an advocate of the garlic press. I feel it's a little bit more difficult to press garlic. So, Chef Wu Can's way is lay the peeled garlic down. This is a 100% carbon steel cleaver, high carbon steel. It's attached, it's one piece. So you don't have to worry about, you know, taking a chop and then the handle flies off and it goes all over the place. This is one piece high carbon steel. And basically, what we're going to do with the garlic is lay it down on the chopping board, take the uh, cleaver, lay it flat, hold it flat, and just drop down. Boom. Done. Move it to the side. Take the second garlic. Done. Now, you may want to uh, chop it even further. So I would say, bear claw. Hide the tips of your fingers underneath. Lean the cleaver, the flat surface of the cleaver against your knuckles. And chop, cut away from your hand. This guarantees that you're not going to get cut. Plus, it's very important that you sharpen your knives. A sharp knife is a safe knife. Okay? Once you're able to master that technique, then you'll be able to cut anything as quick as I can. And it's used to carry the garlic into the pan. Do a petri dish. Now ginger, we could use the uh, cleaver, but I'd rather use this pampered chef Santoku knife. Pamp Chef, lifetime warranty. Anything happens in the time that you have it, you just uh, let Pampered Chef know and uh, they'll take care of you. With the uh, ginger, I took a slice. We're making a soup. We don't want the ginger to overpower the soup. Fingers underneath. Leaning the surface of the knife against your knuckle and just cut. And as you're cutting, move your fingers back a little bit. Now remember, the thinner you cut, the better your broth will absorb or have fused the ginger flavor into it. Okay? So we're 
finish with the cooking, with the preparation. Now, we have our wok. Obviously, you can use a regular pan, but I want to make it a little bit more authentic. And you'll notice, I'm not going to put cornstarch to make the soup thick. As you know, Chinese restaurants, they add a little cornstarch to make it thick, make it more hearty, right? I'm not in that process of eating hearty soup with cornstarch. I can have hearty soup without the cornstarch. But I do on occasion like the, uh, have the uh, hot and sour soup and the egg drop soup and the chicken corn soup. The wonton soup doesn't have cornstarch in it. Always heat up the wok. This is a high carbon steel wok. It may look a little different in terms of the color, but that's the process of seasoning. Once it's used and you rinse off all the, the debris and you don't use detergent on it or whatever, you have a seasoning effect. Just heat it up and you get a natural nonstick surface. Natural. Today, you get a medium pan. They have a certain coating on it. God knows what kind of chemicals they use. And every time you use it, a little bit gets worn. So I don't recommend you using the medium pan, nonstick pan, on a high level. Use it at a medium temperature. All right. I'm not going to put this at high. All right. Basically, we're going to add the water. The water is based on how many people you want. Now, the mustard green has a, a peppery flavor, right? Um, it's used in a lot of things. Uh, if you're familiar with a Peking duck, uh, you get the skin and a little bit of the meat, but the majority of the meat is mixed with uh, preserved mustard green, which is very good. It's peppery, but when you make it in the soup wise, it loses that, that peppery flavor, so it's much more milder, but it's delicious. So if you're, if you're looking for a challenge for trying for a new soup during these holiday, holidays and during the winter time, and you want something clean and tasty and simple, I would recommend mustard, soup, mustard uh, green soup. I don't know if you'll be able to get at Wakeman's, but an Asian market near you may have it. It's a, one of the key uh, soups used in the winter time. So we'll raise the heat a little bit. The texture of the muscogee. Once you put the muscogee in the soup, you basically want it to be, you don't want it, really want it to be crunchy, but yet you don't want it to be mushy. So you want it right in between, okay? Like I said, with other vegetables, you want that emerald green color, but because of this color, you may get a slight emerald green color. So I would recommend you taking a piece and, and you know, taste it and see what kind of texture you get. Wegmans has a lot of ingredients that we use. They have an actual display case for Asian foods. You can get a lot of things there. Snow pea pods, which right now during the holidays and during the winter time is very popular vegetables. And it's very cheap too. Uh, snap peas uh, is very good. It's very sweet. And you can use those items and saute with other meats, chicken, beef, and I'll be able to show you that in our later YouTube videos. So stay tuned, you know, if you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And basically, uh, like me on YouTube. Now, my brand is Chef Wu Can, You Can Too. I feel that, you know, right now, it's sort of like our hands are tied in terms of what we can do. And we may feel a little depressed, but I feel that if I can do it, you can do it too. It's simple and easy. So Chef Wu can, you can too. And it sounds nice. So, we have the uh, chicken powder, broth powder. With this, you can add more water if it's too strong. If you want to dilute it a little bit, that's up to you. We'll add the uh, ginger. And we'll add the gong. And we'll add the white pepper. 
you'll notice a trend with my cooking is I always include white pepper to give it a little zing to it. Always fresh garlic, always fresh ginger, right? Those, that's one of the bases for good Chinese cooking. You can really appreciate the flavor. Here's my ladle. Stir it. You want the temperature to be really hot, so we'll cook the uh, mustard green. Let's taste it. I always recommend that you taste everything. In the beginning, the middle, and at the end. So you can always adjust it. You don't want to be in a situation where you made it all, you served it, and people didn't like it. Too salty, too sweet. At least you'll be able to taste it midterm and you'll be able to adjust it. The sign that your neighbors and friends and relatives love your food, there's nothing left. And it's total silence. So they don't even have to compliment you. It's the mere fact that the dish is clean means they loved it. Water's boiling. Water's perfect. Add the mustard green. You might be a little nervous in terms of trying this out, but you have to understand that I wouldn't recommend something that tastes terrible. You might have to acquire a taste, but I think that with our palace these days, we're always looking for that challenge. So it's a little peppery on the raw side. But once you cook it in a soup, it loses that peppery uh, taste. So it's much more milder. And I think you'll really appreciate a good, clean flavor. So you'll notice that the leaves may have turned a little bit more greenish, but it's not the leaves that we're concerned about. It's the body of the uh, mustard green that should be a little bit more tender. So we'll let it cook for a little bit. My website is www.chefwukan.com. I'm a food blogger, restaurant critic. I teach virtual class. So if you like what you see and you want to support a small business, I urge you to sign up. Tell a friend. If you're interested, we have incentives for you to join. Hopefully, when this COVID is over, I'll be a vlogger. So I'll be video, uh, videotaping some places that I go to. And uh, that should be interesting too. So there's a lot of things that I had. And obviously, COVID really put a little dent in my uh, business. So we can, appreciate, we can appreciate anything that you offer. All right? So having cooked this before, I know that it may take a little bit, but um, it gives me a little time to talk to you. I mean, ready for the holidays? I mean, what else could go wrong? I saw the Rockefeller tree. I thought that when it was being set up, it was kind of limp, reflection of the year. But hopefully they fix it up. They spruced it up, so it looks really good. I'm a native New Yorker. I don't know if you can tell by my accent, I learned my trade in Chinatown, New York City, in my uncle's restaurant. Now, I just try to imagine taking a suburbia boy from Long Island and putting him into Chinatown. What a rude awakening. So we'll take a little sip again. I taste the ginger, I taste the garlic. Remember, this is hot soup. So when you taste it, make sure you blow it a little bit take the heat off a little bit, okay? I don't want you to burn your tongue. But I do enjoy cooking. I love it. I love it when people get tidbits from me about how I cook, what a little bit about the restaurant and what they do to cut bases. Um, I want you to eat healthy. You're feeding your family. They deserve the best. Best quality foods. Okay. And if after the meal you have a sweet tooth, during this time I had to find uh, different uh, hobbies. So I was making a Chef Can Gourmet Peanut Butter. It's delicious. My view is nothing stays the same. Everything changes. So where the traditional flavor of 
peanut butter brittle, I added more flavors to it. And the response has been overwhelming. So if you're interested in looking at what I have to offer in, for the holidays, go to Chef Wu Peanut Brittle dot Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com. Always looking for support. I'm small business. You get a nice decorator box with delicious peanut brittle with a nice gold bow or gold stretch loop. Sent priority mail, so you get in two or three days. Now, I have no control over USPS, but you know I'm paying for it in terms of service. So, you know, hopefully, it'll be worth it. So far, the response has been great. All right, so I'll take a piece. Right. Good. I'll shut it off. So basically, you would serve it. This would be the first dish of the meal. This will help you in your digestion. It has all the nutritional values that you can think of. It's an energy boost. It's good for your heart friendly. I mean, people don't know it. So I'm trying to expose that to you. If you want to check up on on Google, mustard greens. It's very nutritious. And I have my Chinese bowl and my Chinese spoon. And this sets the uh, pattern for the rest of the evening's dinner. Delicious. Chef Wu can, you can too. And it's easy. Made in, all this was made in 10 minutes with the preparation included. Well, maybe not even 10 minutes, maybe five minutes. And you can have this just as good as a chicken noodle. It's just as good. You just have to acquire a taste for it, but you won't know until you try. So this is mustard green soup. If you have any questions, let me know. PearlWoo17 at gmail.com. No, PearlWoo17 at gmail.com. My website is www.chefwoocan.com. And I want to wish you and your family a very happy holiday. Stay safe. Stay protected. Enjoy life. And hopefully this year will be over really soon. Okay? I appreciate your time. And I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, subscribe so you'll be notified of new videos that come out. And like me. The more likes, it'll bring it, get the attention of YouTube. Okay? I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Chef Wu can. You can too. Bye-bye.